Hi, I thought I'd just share uh, in relation to differential rebating is that the schemes could not be anti-competitive. That was a very important legal consideration. There has to be differential rebating basically because otherwise you would have the potential for price fixing arrangements which would be in breach of the consumer law and would be anti-competitive. Law is complex and you can't create a law that that breaches another law or conflicts with another law. The other key message was that these schemes could not have an inflationary impact and that's what I was saying in one of my previous um, videos about the fact that no health fund can pay whatever a doctor charges because that creates an inflationary impact because the doctors would just put their prices continually up and if the health funds just kept paying more and more and more the prices would all just keep going up and up and up. The legislation was built around this concept of the uh, schemes having to be approved they must not have an inflationary impact and that means the funds have to have a differential rebate so that they're not anti-competitive and you don't get cartel behavior or price fixing behavior but once the health funds choose what rebate they are going to pay they have to lock it in and have the scheme approved by the minister they have to pay what has been approved so as not to cause an inflationary impact on uh, the Australian economy hope that helps